Hi guys, welcome back to Future Dimensions 360. As you know, in our last tutorial, we had learned another custom hook that was related to counter. In today's tutorial, we are winding up this hooks series by learning one final example of custom hook. Today, we will be doing an example of user form in which we will take two input elements there we will be taking first name and last name of user and one handle submit button will submit that form and we will show those values in alert later on we will implement the same example by using custom hook let's move forward try to create a new component called user form dot js user form dot js rfc react functional component has been created so inside that i have to take two state variable one will be first name and set first name and the second variable will be it should be from use state hook with initial value empty string second will be last name I'll copy paste first name and I will just change the names to last name secondly what you have to do here is you have to replace this JSX with a form in which you will say that form when it will be on submit on submit of this form I'll say handle submit form okay this should be created here I'll create an arrow function for this as well in which I will be taking e like event as a parameter and I'll say e dot prevent default that will help me to not reload this form or to not reload the page as soon as the form is submitted then i have to take inputs i'll say input okay and then i have to take another input another input and then i have to take the third input like this first input type will be text and placeholder will be enter first name similarly I'll copy paste enter last name the second input will be and the, the, the third input type will be submit and the value will be the text inside we want it will be submit as well let's hit save and import that form user form to my app.js file I had imported let's go ahead to the browser you guys can see first name last name and submit here whatever I'll write here it working now these imports are actually uncontrolled JSX element or uncontrolled input elements what we have to do here is we have to make them controlled element how we can do that we have to pass few things for that after placeholder first of all we have to pass the value for that input first one will be first name and on change handler what on change handler will do it will take e as an event and then set first name e dot current target dot value whatever you will type in this in that input that will be set it up in the first name state variable similarly I have to do something similar to it for my input to as well I'll say it should be like this but it will be last name the value and the setter function will be set last name as well let's hit save and in this one uh, on submit handler I'll say alert and what I have to do in the alert is I have to show these two very values first name and hyphen 
last name let's hit save get back to browser i'll say future dimensions and once i will hit submit you guys can see future hyphen dimension is appearing in the alert this is how you can control your inputs in form and you can submit the form any type of value you can take but now what we have to do here is we have to create a custom hook called use input and these controlled functionality we will move it to use use input hook and we will try to reset the values on submit handler for each input by using use input hook so let's move forward to our hooks folder and try to create use input dot js new file rfc react functional component i don't need react here i need use state actually instead of react i had imported state now what i want here is i want const i'll say input value comma set input value equals to use state and use state will take what as an input initial value that will be passed from wherever we will call this hook if it's not passed then take it empty string secondly i will say const reset input reset input will be my sec function that will allow me it's an arrow function that will allow me to set input value to initial value again it will reset my value secondly i will say const bind i will take a third object called bind object so this object that will allow us to bind each jsx input as controlled component how we can uh, bind the input as controlled component by passing the value and on change handler so we can copy this both here we can pass it here directly straight away just equal to we will change it with full colon because it's an object in js so we have to pass it like this and this curly braces we will remove now what i have to do here is first of all the value for the input will be what will be input value here and on change every time will take event as an input and set what set input value here with the current value now what i want here is i have to return back what an array of input value reset input and bind functionality let's hit save and let's go back to my user form component i will say first of all the first will be i will change it from use state to use input okay initial value i will pass it as empty string the first input state name is initial value here i can rename it with any value whatever i want so i will rename it to first name and the second value should be reset input i will say reset first name here reset first name and the third one will be my binding function so i will say bind first name let me copy this and i will paste it again here then the second will be last name last name i will copy this last name here and this one will be last reset last name and reset bind last name okay so what i will do whenever i am submitting the function after that I, what i have to do here is i have to reset first name similarly i have to reset last name as well so it will make my both inputs back to initial value so my initial value is empty strings secondly i'll remove this two here and i'll just pass a curly braces and dot 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 bind input first this dot 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 is a spread operator that will allow you to spawn these two values inside this object what two values are available in this object is value and on change handler similarly 
go to the second input do the same process there as well dot 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 bind last name hit save go back to the browser and you guys can see i'll reload my browser it's saying first name is object and last name is object let's go here and see input value wait a while let's remove this one curly braces so it will be like this you have to directly pass the object value let's hit save the first is enter first name enter last name i will say enter first name is future and enter last name is dimensions let's hit submit and you guys can see i'm not able to see it here because where is it yeah the first name is here and the last name is here it should appear why it's not appearing uh reset first name first name i can say initial value very sorry i have to return input value here i make a mistake i have to return back an input value here let's hit reload future dimensions and once i click here you guys can see future dimension as an alert this is how you can create an input as custom hook use input as custom hook that will allow you to change your input element to controlled input element so what we have to do here is we have we had created an app app.js file inside we had created a user form component in that one first of all we had created a form and the form is submitting on handle submit form where we are preventing our form to reload my page and then alerting with state variable first name and last name and reset first name and last name is returning from my use input hook what i am doing in this use input custom hook i'm creating a straight variable that's take initial value as an in initial value of state secondly the reset input will reset your input value to the initial value back and a bind object that will allow you to return the value and on change handler both of them i will pass it here the bind method i'll make alert for state values and reset functions will allow you to reset the value of an input field with this final hook we are done with our custom hook series i hope you guys understand it in detail still if you guys have any question any query you can comment us you can reach us in our mailbox please don't forget to like and subscribe our channel we are bringing from next week another series of react with redux toolkit stay tuned goodbye